Hey guys, welcome back to World of Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys uh, having a Fiat 500 Abarth. And if you have one of those, even if you don't have the Abarth, it will be uh, similar, but not the same, but similar procedure. If you need to find where the map sensor is located, I'm not talking about turbo map sensor. I'm talking about the map sensor on the intake manifold that detects the uh, pressure in the intake manifold. Stay with us. We'll explain that in this video today. Uh, before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep making these free videos. And if you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below, guys. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Uh, before we start, let's uh, explain what we need to do here. Uh, you can see we have the air filter box assembly removed out of here. It's practically loose. Stay with us. We will explain how to do that. Uh, or uh, actually, you know what, guys? For any of you that need help with that, check out the video how to remove air filter box on Fiat Abarth on our channel. We have the video step by step, so I don't waste your time. Once you remove it, you come right here, guys. Okay, if you come right here, all the way towards the back. Okay, that's where your T-map sensor is located. Let's uh, let me just move a few lines out of the way. Uh, and here, if you see, okay, one second, I'm trying to clear a little bit of room to show you because it's a little bit ridiculous. Here, that's that Bosch right here. That's the turbo map sensor, and that's the connector, guys, on the back side right here. You can see, so that's the sensor, it just has one bolt on the back side that uh, holds it in place right there. And once you remove that bolt, you just pull it out, it's a vacuum uh, sensor and it just comes out. So for any of you that need to replace it, that's where it's located. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you guys next time.